Happy birthday, babe. Chiwam. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Victor. Hey, it's your birthday today. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Victor Silku is a very nice man. Mr. Victor is a nice man. He's always ready to carry his workers along. Hey, Mr. Victor is a kind, a smart, a nice and also a generous man as well. And he's very disciplined. Okay, he's my boss, you know, and he has been more than a boss to all of us, not just me. Uh, Mr. Victor is my boss. You know, when you come to the media, uh, the media world, He's my mentor. Mr. Victor Soku is my boss and also a mentor. Um, Victor Soku has been a very wonderful guy. He's always been there for his friends. Mm -hmm. Very humble, very outgoing, very patient, very industrious. Birthday shout out to the most humble person I ever came across, Mr. Victor. Prior to meeting him, I used to think I was the most patient guy in the world. Like, I know I could patient but when i met victor man that guy is patient i found i was actually a learner victor is a very resilient man he's a very very resilient man i don't think victor ever says no to any challenge in fact if you're around him you will notice that every day victor comes up with a new business idea that's how brilliant his mind works that's how much he wants to do he has so much in him that he wants to do i don't think time is ever enough for him to do all the things that is that are on his mind that's one and then two victor has the biggest heart i've ever seen he's a peacemaker he's a lovely guy you don't need to you don't need trouble and also you believe in you believe in truths he's one man that believes in hard work he believes in getting the job done he doesn't believe in impossibilities more reasons why he will always tell you, play around it too. He's a good man. You're a very articulate person, you're a go-getter, you're a dreamer, and you work assiduously to see those dreams come true. Man, I really admire his doggedness. He doesn't give up. He's so, so embracing everything. That thing you think is small for him to do, Mr. Victor will put in his all and he will get it done. The fact that you're hardworking, you're, um, is it resilient? They call it, yes, you're resilient and you always, you're a go-getter and it's a good thing I admire about you. What I admire is, I think is his, is his consistency, like once he has his eye on something, we die there, like we're going to get this thing, we're going to achieve this goal and he keeps pushing and pushing even when it doesn't make sense to me anymore he just doesn't give up if I go back to the memory lane at Abba you're a giver you helped a lot of people and I'm going to continue to move you forward I really appreciate the fact that you are very very thoughtful of the people that you are working with I appreciate the fact that you give people an opportunity you respect your employees and you know you just there's just this very very humble servant leadership um, prototype that you work with or that you lead with I thoroughly appreciate it I met him in church prison ministry that's on the rock protocol 2020 2020 or early 2021 i guess and then his devotion to this course how he carries the whole thing as if it's his private business he's always available he's always doing the thing he's always supporting his finances what have you know what have you everything about him is so full of life in fact you want to be around okay i know mr victor ishioko through mr lise omuseka we work together, work as a partner in the verified home. Both of us tried our best. We have never had issues since then. And also, he's my best man during my wedding. And we met um, at House on the Rock, Patakat, um, Prison Ministry, now Correctional Ministry. What drew me to you was how supportive you were. You were always willing to give your substance to the course and also to individuals. And that, that was really, really interesting. It showed how you were so given to charity. And, and that was such a lovely thing that I saw that drew me to you. Chinedu Victor Siogu a prof or the prof in his name is not just uh, a title but it's a symbol of 
intelligence. Shimo is a very intelligent young man. Um, Shimo is, is, is industrious. Shimo has a good heart. Shimo is a husband. Shimo is a father. Shimo is a good man. Knowing you has helped me understand the true power of consistency. Because I can still remember when our TikTok account was on what. <laughs> Let's not even go there. <laughs> but I mean, see how far we've come. I mean, that's so that's so great of an achievement. And that's all thanks to your resilience, your determination, your strength. Wow. Um, I don't I don't I don't think he gets upset because this guy is always smiling, always happy, even in the midst of so much trauma, so much trouble, so much challenges you see mr victor always smiling he has a smiling in fact is i think we should call him a smiler his, his, his second name should be smiler because he's always smiling he's always smiling he's you don't know he's angry even when he's angry he's smiling even when, when, you, when, you, when you know he's angry you know that this guy is angry but he's talking to you he's smiling he's this soft and gentle guy yeah and knowing you have helped me understand that it takes love to keep a company. It takes love to keep a team together. Why do I say that? My new workplace is very different. I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. <laughs> but working with you, I don't know, but you know that bread that you normally used to buy for us? I mean, do it little, but I think when you buy it, you buy it with love. And then when they, and then when, and then when it comes, when, it arrives you know it arrives with love and then we just feel joy i don't know how to explain it but i know what i'm saying you just have a way of spreading love among your staff which i admire so much over here i'm sincere there's no love working at that for me was more of working in a family working with a family over here <laughs> over here is like let me just walk and go now let them pay me yo <laughs> that the labor market was very kind to me by letting you start you know the train of all of the bosses and all of the people i've worked with letting you be the boss the first boss that i had immediately after i graduated from uni was one of life's big blessings because it came with some cushioning it came with kindness it came with thoughtfulness i really appreciate you sir your doggedness inspired me a whole lot sir god bless and keep you for all the opportunities i've been able to learn on learn and grow in tab tv it was a huge family for me in port accord thank you sir for those opportunities being with mr victor made me to understand how to accept challenges when it comes to challenges the advices that he gives to me made me see those challenges as nothing while i worked with mr victor seeing him every day seeing the strength that he carries he's this person that makes you to believe that you can do it and um that was a lot of inspiration from him. So he has inspired me a lot by encouraging me, even though um, there are some taxes given to me that I couldn't uh, accomplish, but he has always supported, like, encouraged me to do more, put more effort into it. He's also politically inclined, so I love listening to him speak because you can't stay with Mr. Vita and not learn anything. It's not possible. And he makes the work look so easy. And the way he analyzes newspaper, the newspaper, the way he talks, it's impactful. It's impactful, and it makes you want to know, want to read more. And it makes you feel like, okay, I'm, I think I'm not doing enough. I need to up, up my game and all that. If you feel like you cannot do a particular task, he will make you feel like um, you can do anything you set your mind on to do or maybe he will switch you to another department but then he makes sure that um, you're productive. I've, I've inspired me in so many ways, you know, his resilient spirit, um, his calmness and um, his, his way he's always focused in, in what he wants to achieve. Um, when you see something as a problem, Victor sees it as an, as an opportunity. So I admire those things about him and it's inspired me so much in my own way of life 
when I feel down, I will remember how he sees things and I will, you know, turn to think in his, in his direction. He's always positive. He's not somebody who sees negativity. So, so around him is always, when you come around him, you can see that, you know, there's this positive aura around him that makes, keeps him going. And um, yeah, there's so much I inspired about him. He has impacted me in different ways. Like, okay, let's say the football aspect. Before I came here, I wasn't really a sports fan, but while being here, I got to go and dive more into sports. And he has also impacted in me the skills of photography and videography. Before I came here, I wasn't really, I didn't know how to handle the camera or let alone edit a video. But while here, he has been able to show me that and Right now, I can actually can see I'm at my workstation. I'm editing a video here. All thanks to Mr. Victor Sioko. First of all, he has inspired me to never give up on whatever it is that you're venturing into and to remain consistent. Hmm, imparting the team. Okay, so I have this team of workers that are that are naive okay let me use that word okay so they come into the team and then before you know it they are experts i don't know if everyone does it but with him you cannot say you're not going to do this thing you must do it he will tell you try it you will do it you'll get it just try your hand in fact he keeps imparting people keeps imparting you to keep imparting core members there's no company that going to this company and go back the same way he came. You must learn one thing from Mr. Victor. I'm like, why am I even saying one thing? Everything we do at Tav Media Limited, if you're a core member of Tav Media, and you've not learned everything we do, then you're a joker. Look at it today. I can edit. In fact, when it comes to videography, call the motivator. All thanks to boss, Victor. Okay, well, for the impact, I must say, um, for every uh, sorry, I'm going to use the word core member that steps in here. We came in here empty, but we'll, I bet you we'll, we will not leave TAF TV empty. So TAF TV and Mr. Victor Isioko, our MD, has, has changed our life. Sorry, I have to, I have to use the, the right word. He has changed our life. He is like a messiah to most of us. My funniest moment with uh, Mr. Victor um, is... Um, there are sometimes we will be having a conversation and he will randomly join the conversation and that, that was like the funniest we were having a conversation and he jumped into the conversation and it was awesome uh, the funniest moment with um, our boss mr victor isioko is is doing our, our monday meetings where he he gets to um, address the house and it's always fun having him around oh when it comes to fun just come at night during football intel show you will laugh and laugh and laugh at the time i always know that this my boss is a comedian so creative in fact he is all with them. they said jack of all trade master of none but in his own case he is jack of all trade and master of all oh yeah our first valentine together he wrote me 14 love notes that's the most gesture, the most loving gesture he's ever made. I think that's the one that stands out the most that I can think of. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy 14th birthday, my beloved brother. Have a good, lovely day. Love, peace, and happiness belongs to you. Go there and get it. I wish you many more glorious and beautiful I years. I love you. So, to all of my boss, respect. As you continue to forge ahead, just like your siblings, you will not disappoint us. You will not disappoint God. You will not disappoint your destiny. In the name of Jesus. I'm leaving you with a prayer. Be careful. The wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. In all you're getting, get understanding. Because with this wisdom, you will know what to do at the right time. And you do the right thing at the right time. That's wisdom. 
God has given you the power to tread upon snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Be strong and be courageous and forge ahead. God is on your side in Jesus' mighty name. I wish you happy birthday. This 40th year is another season you've entered. You shall emerge more glorious in Jesus' mighty name. What in a shop? Anywhere you go, no man will hurt you. I have that one. God told me in Isaiah 49, 25, 26. He said, We save all my children. And that one is definite. It's what cannot lie. That's why I know you move forward, you move higher. It's a beautiful moment in your life. And I'm sure you will continue to move higher and higher. Keep on doing what is good. In Jesus' name. Thank you for, you know, we thank you for your life. And we thank you that um, God will continue to bless you and um, you, know, the, you will um, reap the fruits of your labor. Um, so all I will say, just enjoy yourselves. <clears throat> so this message goes, um, yeah, I'm representing the family, put it that way. Some might come in and do their own stuff, but I just want to put this out there um, that um, God will bless you and God will keep you. Um, celebrate your, you know, um, your 48th um, year. Put a height for you, boss. Keep soaring high, keep growing, keep improving, keep, ins keep inspiring people and keep living. In good health, very important. So happy birthday, have fun. I wish you long life, good health, in abundance and in prosperity. Happy birthday, baby. Love you. Today, Victor, this is wishing you a happy 40th birthday. Um, life starts at 40, so today is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. Um, I pray that God will, will grant you all your heart desires. I pray that God will open more doors, you know, for you that you can you have, cannot even imagine. God bless you. God keep you in this season. Happy birthday to you, Victor. Happy birthday, Shimobi. Pray God bless and keep you. Happy birthday, Mama, Prof. Shimobi. Happy birthday, Mr. Victor!